our bench was terrific and led by Mitch. I thought uh, Bogey gave us really good minutes and Deuce did as well. So those, those three guys gave us a big lift. You know, we had to dig out of the hole to start the game. Uh, then the rebounding was big and uh, we had to withstand. You know, we started slowly and then we started the third quarter slowly, but we found a way to win. With, with Deuce, just, just how much of a, of a burst of life did he give you guys there early in the first half when he checked in? Huge. I think, you know, it's not just the shot making, but it's the energy, it's the defense, it's the hustle, and that goes a long way. Josh, struggling offensive much of the night, three threes, 13 points in the fourth quarter. Just kind of yeah, I don't want to overlook his contribution because he's he was uh, he was a monster throughout. You know, he, big rebounds. Tough defense, hustle plays, big shots at the end, coming up with loose balls, and that's that's what this is. This is, you know, you got to show toughness. Coach, it, it was an anomaly. All the starters were plus minus negative, three bench plays plus twenty uh, or more. Can you just talk about just the balance that they provided tonight? Yeah, yeah, and we started the game slowly, and I thought it changed when the energy of the bench came in, and so. And we need everyone. So tonight it was the bench. You got to win games different ways. The rebounding was huge for us. Uh, we made some threes that I think that timely ones, particularly late, and, and that was big as well. Um, but we, you know, obviously there's a lot of things to clean up too. Can you explain the slow start? Uh, Embiid got going on us pretty good. So and look, some of them were defended well. Some of them we got to do a better job. Uh, but you know, it's a 48-minute game, so that's the way you have to look at it. Is a guy can make a tough shot or make a shot, and then you got to keep going. You have to have staying power. So I thought you know, we got some hustle into the game. I thought OG made some really uh, dynamic hustle-type plays that got us into the open floor. And I think once we got some easy baskets, that triggered a lot of things for us. Coach, you, you gave the challenge with 8:21 left in the fourth. It only left you with one timeout. What was the thought there in terms of? Yeah, it's tight right there. Yeah, you you know you want to you know you'd like to have two, but just where the way the flow of the game was and where we were, it felt like we needed to do that. McBride has never. I mean, he played sparingly last year in the playoffs, but he's never really come in for the playoffs for this large of a role. Does it cross your mind going into it? Like you just wonder if he's going to be ready? No, not really. Just because like. It's, you know, if you're looking at it from the outside, you don't see, like, the work that he does every day. And then every time he's gotten an opportunity, he's responded well. And so, uh, you know, and there's things that he does that you know will translate. The defense is always going to be there. The hustle is always going to be there. And his shooting, he's, he's done an incredible amount of work on his shooting, and it shows. And so credit to him. He's worked extremely hard, and, you know, he's... He's got great versatility because he can guard multiple positions. Well, with Bogey, obviously before the Pistons stretch that he had, he, he played some significant minutes with, with the Jazz on a playoff bout team. Does, does that factor into your mind? His, his play well, I think experience is important. You know, like you learn from that. That's, you know, trial and error is a big part of it. Like you, it's a great question about Deuce. Like he's going through it, so each each experience that he's had is push them further down the road. And I think even with your veteran players, the more games they play in, the more they can draw upon that from past experience. But also knowing that each season's different, each game is different, and we we know we have to do a lot better in the next game. Mitch, how, Mitch much, seems how, to, how much do you stress offensive rebounding when you're talking to your team? And how much is it just the makeup of, of your roster that Probably, yeah, and it's it's a great question. Probably both, you know, like in the sense that we prioritize that in, in what we look at, and then we feel like rebounding. You know, when we lost Julius, we, that was one of the things, and we did it even when we had Julius. We always say defend, rebound, low turnover. Those three things will put you in position to win. So the nights in which we're not shooting well, we feel like that's an opportunity to get us, you know, give us a chance and also understanding the value of shots. So we always say the layups, the free throws, and the open threes. And so oftentimes we're getting to the, to the bonus early because we're getting fouled on it, right? And then the kickout's giving us the three. And then sometimes it's a kickout, swing, swing, and the drive that gets us to the free throw line. And I think our team has a good understanding of that. Is the Mitch performance especially um, encouraging considering how yeah. he was able to sustain it? Yeah, I, and I said this earlier, like, so the whole, 
like month of April, we looked at his like, okay, this is he's got to work his way back. Obviously, when you're out as long as he's been, uh, and, and he's he's done a great job putting the work into it. In each game, you can see his timings coming around. Uh, those are two big free throws he hit late, but the, also to be able to battle and you know be physical and you know move his feet and just anchor the defense, the block shots, the offensive rebounding. It's huge. You mentioned Maxie's speed pregame. I mean, yeah. He's like a blur out there. What, yeah. What can you do? Yeah. Is there anything yeah. you can do? Yeah. It, it, it really, in many ways, he's an offense unto himself. So we got to do. We got to take care of that with our team, um, and you know, and it's not just him. It's you know, it's you're dealing with Embiid as well, and Ubre and Harris, and you know, Lowry, and then Hill comes in, and Batum. And so it's a, it's a, it's a deep and talented team. You, you mentioned you mentioned Embiid start. Um, what did you think when you saw the injury, and also what what kind of player? I guess you saw him in the second half. Different. Yeah, just you know, and the and the thing is, it's like, look, you can't win an MVP without being a great player. So he's, you know, we know how good he is, and you know, when he goes down, you you know, you, you always, you know, you thinking the guy's coming back. You don't think he's staying out. So, and you know, we that's what we anticipated. 13 points for you and 42 points for the bench today. I mean, huge performance from that second unit. Can you describe the mindset of that group heading into this one and how did you guys have your way out there? Just being aggressive and trying to do best we, best we can over there. I think all those a lot of those points came after our great defense. I think we out, out rebound them by by 20. So that's the that's the approach we need every single game. Yeah, seven of those rebounds were yours. I Boog, you're so deeply experienced when it comes to these playoff runs. How much did you see that paying off tonight as you made one key play after another? I mean, I'm experienced enough to know that you have to wait for your moment. You never know when it's going to come. But uh, like I said, it's contribute to all the team. Deuce hitting a hitting couple, couple great shot. OG with a, with a dead three was, was, was game difference. And then Josh also as well. Mitch doing, I mean, all over the board. We did, we did a great job. So we just have to go out there and keep fighting. You mentioned Deuce. I mean, these were his first significant playoff minutes. And wow, was he unbelievable out there tonight. You know, what did you see from your perspective? I mean, just just being aggressive. Like, he was the guy that was guarding Maxi at the end. He's, he's one of the best players. And, and then being able to, to hit those important threes was, was huge for us. But like I said, we all got to be got to be ready and stay ready for the. It's going to be a long, long series probably. And I hope long, long play up front for us I mean starters we got to bring energy um, we got to do a better job to start the game and to start the, the third quarter so um, can't wait to a down 10 to, to start playing so that's something we'll definitely talk about tomorrow but um, that's just you know we're resilient um, you know uh, I guess we just like making it tough for ourselves Yeah, uh, it felt great. Um, you know, the the last two games of the regular season, the, our, our season series, um, you know, Nick just, uh, his game plan was just to play off me and just let me shoot and, and dare me to, to, to make shots. So I knew that um, as soon as they, you know, they won, it, it would be the same thing, with, you know, with Spo if Miami won. So that's something that I knew I had to really focus on. And, um, you know, this whole week has just been getting up shots, you know, pre-practice, post-practice, going back at night, just getting up shots, getting up reps. Um, so I knew it was going to, you know, be be that way in terms of just open shots. And um, you know, fortunately, I was able to, you know, knock it down. Um, I don't. I I, I was saying a bunch of stuff. Uh, I think some expletive, so, you know, tell, tell my, my mom and dad, you know, sorry for the language. Um, but no, it is just the, the passion um, that, you know, I play with. Um, you know, like I said, I knew I was going to be left open and kind of disrespect on a three-point line. And, you know, if you base it off numbers this regular season, I think I shot like 30%. So, you know, smart game plan. But um, for me, it's just continuing to take shots. I think I made my first one and I missed like my next four. And um, normally I would have just kind of 
been hesitant, you know, but this one was just continue to shoot, continue to, um, you know, make them respect me on the three point line. Josh, you've been a relentless rebounder, and, and in many ways that has defined the team. Can you just talk about how critical that has been to you guys all season? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, th that's something that we pride ourselves on. Um, and then obviously Mitch, you know, went down pretty early, and he was a, a hell of a rebounder. And then obviously Jew went down. Um, so we needed to make sure we end defensive possessions um, with a rebound. And when we do that, we're able to get out in transition and, um, you know, play to our strengths, play in space, knock down shots, get to the rim, do those kind of things, get easy baskets where we're not, you know, grinding out possessions, trying to get tough ones. So um, that's something that we always put an emphasis on, and um, we're going to continue to do that. What did Josh Chase talk about? Damn. Um, <clears throat> um, yeah, no, it's um, definitely um, encouraging. Um, you know, when when your main guy who, um, you know, we we've been on his shoulders this whole season, and when he struggled, um, you know, that's when we had to pick him up. So, um, you know, that just talks about, you know, the next man up mentality. A bench was uh, amazing today. I mean, I think Deuce was a, a plus 37, Bogey was a plus 27, Mitch was a plus 20. Like, they, they were the reason why we won the game. So, um, when, you're, when your top dog's not um, playing well and not shooting well, I won't say playing well, not shooting well, um, you need other guys to, you know, pick it up for him, and that's what we did. I mean... It was just one of them things. Like you just, you know, you got there and just play hard. Just go at it, you know. You, you, you looked physically very different tonight than you did, like even a week ago. Did, did it feel different to you? Uh, yeah, I felt more energized. Um, you know, the crowd helped a lot. Um, home court, you know, their, their energy helped us out a lot. So, you know, just went out there and just played hard. What, you, what do you think in when that play in the fourth quarter, you and Embiid go for the same rebound and you're just trying to tear away from him around the floor? Like um, I mean, just playoff, you know, it's a dog fight. You know, you got to go out there and just, and you got to fight for your life. Did he accidentally kick you where I think he did? Mm -hmm. is that, is that Come on, Matthew. We're not asking the type of questions, man. <laughs> I didn't know if that was a... Nah, man, mind your business. <laughs> We're not doing that. Mitch, Mitch, what do you think of the whole second unit with Bogey? Yeah, they came in and played excellent. Um, you know, do what they're supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, we just all got in there and just... You got it going. Deuce, in the walk-off interview with Jalen Brunson, I asked him what was the key to the fourth quarter, and he said... Deuce McBride, and it was kind of one of those drop the mic moments. But I mean, how does it feel to have him talking about you in that way and what you were able to kind of do for your team tonight? Yeah, it feels great. Uh, obviously, he's been our leader all year. Um, and, you know, he put a lot of confidence in me. He's been talking to me a lot uh, for the last two years. So just uh, happy we were out. Uh, we were able to go out there and get the win. 42 bench points tonight. I and mean, what was the key? You know, so many of those points were yours, but you were finding your teammates too. Yeah, I think we just wanted to come in, shift the momentum, um, get the ball up the floor, make sure we were getting stops first. And uh, I think we were just able to move the ball around and hit shots. And speaking of getting those stops first, Tyrese Maxey, you had the job of making sure he was uncomfortable tonight. What did it take to defend him successfully on that end of the floor? Uh, just trying to be disruptive. I think just trying to be as physical as I can with him. Obviously, he's a talented player, um, but, you know, having an anchor like Mitch in the back and Isaiah just makes it a lot easier. You, you played last, last year, I think, had three points in the eight playoff games. Um, come out today just on fire. Did you, did any of this surprise you or did you approach it differently than last, you know, with, with the experience you've had this year? Uh, no, it doesn't surprise me. Um, you know, I just learn from last year and try to take that and, you know, just be impactful and do whatever I can to help the team win. This is, this is kind of the first time you've played as a real rotation regular in, in a playoff game. Does you know, we hear all the time about playoff experience and how that helps people and all that. Like, is that something that crosses your mind when you're going through? No, I treat every game, you know, as a very big game. You know, whether it's the first game of the season, 10th game, 50th game, it doesn't matter. If you have that approach, I feel like it makes these uh, moments easier. Played really well defensively. They're just throwing bodies or clogging the paint, making everything difficult. So um, I give them a lot of credit. I got to be better. I can't and, um, speed up. I just got to be myself and slow down a little bit. But um, you got to give them a lot of credit. But I think... 
made a couple key plays where our teammates just made big shots, and so um, that's a credit to them. And then I just, I'm just happy they they played well today. Yeah. Yeah, they played phenomenal. Um, they came in in the start of the second quarter and tied the game up, and then. Um, and then we had a little run from there, and then obviously we're back in the third quarter. They came back, took the lead, and our bench came in and just played the same way they did in the first half. So they played phenomenal from the start to finish, and um, whenever they were in, they made plays. And so it's a lot of credit to them to, for their preparation and everything. They were ready to go. What have you seen with Mitch? I mean, with uh, with, with Deuce, he got a little taste of the playoffs last year against Cleveland and Miami. You've seen him progress this year. What have you seen in his progression? Yeah, um, he's always been ready. Uh, when he when he works out, um, he works out the same way with the same attitude every single time. He's preparing just for moments like these. And so, uh, obviously, when things happen in the middle of the season and his number was called, he was ready to go. And so, um, that's just a credit to who he is and how he prepares. And so, you know, we have a lot of trust and faith in him. Yeah, he's he's been he was phenomenal and. Um, there were a couple of times in the first half where he was open and didn't shoot, and we just kept telling him to shoot. If you're open, shoot. That's what you do. You work on it, do it all the time. And so he made some really key shots. He made, I think, game one of last year, too, in the first round. He made a very clutch shot in the game one. So um, he just, he's a knack for doing that.